back to my kitchen. It's been a while, I know. I'm getting ready to prepare this nice rock of pork ribs to, to barbecue in the oven tomorrow. And so I've washed and cleaned it with some lemon and I've removed the inner membrane. And so what I'm gonna do is simply brine it overnight. What I have here is, Lord help me to remember. I have a nice piece of fresh ginger, one stick of cinnamon, I have star anise, I have whole cloves, I have pimento, and I forgot the name of this one, but guys, I'll tell you just a second. Like I'm so sorry about that. Again, I have star anise, I have whole cloves, and I have allspice, whole allspice, fresh piece of ginger, and one stick of cinnamon. What I did was I bring the water to a boil, and I add them, and I boil them for maybe a minute, and then I turn the water off and let them sit in there. What I'm going to do now is just strain it onto the pork. So here, this, this is what it looks like. The smell, oh, and then there's a couple of fresh cloves of garlic too. The smell from these spices are absolutely divine. I'm gonna do a, a, a video coming soon with different things you can do with these dry spices. The smell is just absolutely divine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let the pork sit in here overnight. And I think it's best if I cut this so it can bury down in there. I didn't cut the pork and I'm gonna bury this in there. Bury them in, in the brine, cover it up overnight. And then I'll see you back when it's time to season up. And when it's time to cook, thank you. Back, our pork ribs have been soaking overnight in the brine I made, if you recall. So now we're gonna season it up and put it into oven to cook. And to season up, we're gonna, make, we're gonna combine some seasoning here. Here I have dry sage. This is so good on pork. I have smoked paprika. Black pepper. This is some um, roasted garlic and herb. Smells so good. Onion powder. This is my blend of seasoning which contains, you know, if you remember the, the, the herbs I put in the um, the brine for the pork chop, it also contains a lot of that. The cinnamon, the, the allspice, the clove, the star anise. And then here, I, ooh, my, this is Jamaican um, scotch bonnet for spice. You can use any hot spice you choose, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, and some brown sugar. My seasoning salt. Let's combine this really good. And let's rub this meat down good.
Okay guys, so let's cover this up. The oven is preheated to 350. No, I'm sorry, it's preheated to 375. Let's get this in the oven and I will see you back in two hours. So um my ribs were just about the two hours are just about coming up so I'm sprucing up my barbecue sauce to add on to my ribs. So in here I have about two tablespoons of butter and about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And to this let's add me some barbecue sauce. in the back. Okay. I think I need all of it. That's definitely not enough for that rib. Okay, so like I say, I'm sprucing up my barbecue sauce. So, to this I'm gonna add a, oops, a tad bit of ginger. Some organic ground ginger. I'm going to add some brown sugar. of um, smoked salt and spice my scotch my dry scotch bonnet Again, the main seasonings in here are cinnamon. I grind up the cinnamon stick, all spice, cold spice, star anise. I'm telling y'all, those flavors go so good together. And oh, I also have nutmeg in there. Lots of antioxidant in here for you. Okay, so my ribs have 16 minutes more to go. I'll see you back in 16. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been two hours since my ribs have been cooking. So, let's see what we have here. I did uh, check on it, I think, in an hour to see how tender it was. And yes, tender it is. So now the ribs are done cooking, I'm going to add this lovely barbecue sauce onto it. I'm going to start on the inside, so let me flip it over. Oh, see that? The bones are ready to fall off. See, yeah, got to be careful because the bones are trying to fall out. So let me lather this up with some barbecue sauce on this side. The oven before was on 375, so I've now turned it down to 350 because I'm going to put it back in without the cover. Okay, let's flip it back over.
Okay, so there we go. The sauce is on. I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Uncovered. 350. Enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Guys, that is, oh my god, this is so good. You have to make this recipe and tell me how you like it. Um, if you want to know, again, the ingredients that I um, created the brine in, just let me know. And let me know, and I'll let you also know where you can get them. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like, comment, and share. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for visiting my channel. God bless, and you have a wonderful and prosperous life. Thank you.